Hi, my name is Josh Carter. And I'm Jessica DuPont. It's Friday, May 18th, and here's your Casco News. The end of the year is fast approaching. Make sure you all are getting your work completed and studying for those exams. Let's make this a successful conclusion to the year. Cats can and cats will. A clear sign that graduation is close by is our senior signing day. Here's DJ with a report. Senior! Catskill had their annual senior signing day. At this event, Ms. Consul and Ms. Duncan handed out junior awards. After the awards, seniors were called up to make their commitment. Senior signing is a very special day for our seniors. Why is senior signing day important? It just expresses, like the emotion is just so, it's like, it feels so good. Just all your friends graduating together, it's just a good feeling. Why? Because after four years and being in school, dedicated to it, doing all the hard work, it's meaning. It's worth something. We're graduating 2018. Senior signing day is important because it shows everybody where everybody is going and everybody gets to clap for you and it feels good to walk up and sign your name. I think senior signing day is important because all the underclassmen really look up to us as seniors. Senior. What a fun but important transitional event for our seniors. Nice work, DJ. Here's Chris with a report on Chess Club. Hello, my name is Chris, and this is Mr. Ademir, the Catskill Spanish teacher and chess club advisor. Hi, Chris. So, when are chess club meetings and when are they? Thursday at 2.20 in this high school library. How many members do you have? Right now we have about 12. It fluctuates a bit. We're shooting for 50, though. My name is Gina Johnson. My name is Ariana Nieves. I love it! <laughs> I like playing chess. Do you like how many members there are, or do you want more people to join? I'd honestly want more people to join, because it's always fun to have a new opponent. Yeah, I'm happy with the amount of people there are, but it'd be even better if there was more. My brother's learning how to play chess, so hopefully beat him. I like chess club. Why did you relocate to the library for your chess club meetings? So that the meetings weren't so intimidating to the middle schoolers. When we were in the high school, I wasn't getting any middle schoolers. Now we have three since I moved, you know, to the library. So what would new members expect to do when they join the club? I suppose if they're new to the club, they'd expect to uh, have a good time and meet maybe some new people. If they're new to chess, they'd expect to uh, have everybody try to help them out and learn. Uh, thank you for having me interview you today, Ms. Ademir, and I'm happy to say that I'm also a member of the club, and I enjoy it too. We love having you here, and thank you. Thanks, Chris. Nice work, and welcome to the Casco News Team. There are some great workshops available at the Athens Cultural Center. Even our own Miss Doty is providing art classes on landscape painting. Check out their website for more interesting programs. I'm Serena Vega and I'm here with Mrs. Doni on the Senior Citizens Mardi Gras. Why is there a Mardi Gras for senior citizens? The Department for Human Services puts on a dinner for the senior citizens in the community every year and this year the celebration is themed with Mardi Gras. Who is organizing it? The Department for the Aging first contacted me. They asked if one of my classes or the art club would be interested in putting together some posters and then they came up with the idea of having a picture showing Mardi Gras in New Orleans with cutouts that where the senior citizens could stand behind and get their pictures taken. They said they would really like that at the dinner. So I uh, had groups of students like get together and either work on a poster of their very own or they were working together on a poster. So we came up with about seven posters and then about six students on this picture back here. The dinner is going to be held on May 18th and I believe it's at one o'clock in the afternoon. 
All the kids who are working on it are invited. What was your role on this project? I painted most of the cutout and I've done my own poster to match the theme for Mardi Gras, which was purple, yellow, and green. What was your favorite part to paint? The suits, definitely. Nice work. Thank you. The Spring Rush Triathlon was a wet, cold day, but the students running the event and the competitors showed up to make it a great event. They also had our legislators, congressmen, and assemblymen come to support our efforts. Great job, Catsco Business Club, on another successful event. The Spring Concerts are all posted to YouTube. Check them out on our new YouTube page. Our iWorks class has been busy producing their projects and making them ready for our news broadcast. Here's Ashley, the report on Netflix. Bates Motel. Uh, Blue Mountain State. Probably Riverdale. <laughs> Californication. Uh, I like all the DC shows like Flash, Supergirl. I don't watch Netflix. Uh, when I can after sports. <laughs> In my free time, so a few times a week. Uh, whenever I have free time, which honestly isn't very often. Not all the time, only when I'm available, which hasn't been recently. A few times a day. Um, before I go to bed. Uh, probably after I get home from school, so way to chill. Before I go to bed. Before I go to bed. Probably when I'm bored. Alone, usually. Uh, sometimes with my little brothers, but mostly alone. Uh, probably 50-50 alone and with friends. Alone. Mostly alone. Well, some of the shows, they take off. I don't really watch, so it doesn't really matter to me. I mean, I guess as long as it's not my favorite show, it doesn't really matter. Uh, well, they haven't really taken any of my shows off of Netflix, but I feel like them taking them off um, leaves opportunity for more shows that I might like to come on Netflix. Well, they haven't really took off anything that I watch, but as long as they put something better in replace. Thanks, Ashley, and great to have you as a part of the team. Justice spoke to Mr. Robinson about some new safety procedures. Here is his report. What are the significant rules added this year? Uh, we added a no hoodie rule in school for safety reasons. So, you know, one of our top priorities here is to make sure the school is safe. So the hoodies being on makes it hard for us to see faces and for the cameras to see faces. So having the hoodies down help us be more secure. Uh, we also are a little more strict with our attendance policy this year in terms of if students show up late, their senior privileges can be impacted. What is social probation? Social probation is a disciplinary measure we can use where if a student hasn't earned the right to do social functions like prom or anything extracurricular, we will revoke that privilege if their behavior doesn't improve. Are there any other rules that you feel have had a positive impact on our school? I would say our attendance rules have really improved our attendance record. Uh, we've gone from 91% attendance to 92%. And last year, almost 10% of our students were late. Um, this year, it's down to 7%. So our attendance policies have really improved our attendance. Thank you, Mr. Robinson. You're welcome. Thanks, Justice. So important to keep our campus safe. Registration is now open for the Catsco Community Center Outdoor Summer Recreation Programs. Details and forms are available on Catsco Community Center's website. Supervised fun activities for children. Stage crew is a big job led by our own Miss Stores. Here is Sam with a report on all that goes on behind the scenes to make our stage performances a success. This is Sam with Miss Stores discussing stage crew. So Miss Stores, what does stage crew do? Stage crew is responsible for all of the sound and the lighting and all of the movement that goes on in the high school auditorium. What would you say is a common misconception about stage crew? A lot of people think that stage crew just sit there and don't do anything, um, where actually they um, they are they are incredibly busy. Um, one of the um, 
mascots you could say of stage crew we have is a rubber duck because when the duck is sitting on the water the duck looks calm but underneath its legs are going very very fast to keep it swimming keep it moving and that's what stage crew is where the behind the scenes moving very fast do you ever run into problems with the equipment all the equipment that we're running is analog which is becoming very obsolete so when things break it's very difficult to get replacement parts so um, long-term goal would be to get everything upgraded to digital LED lighting um, which will be more um, cost-effective for energy use and it'll also produce a better sound quality overall okay thank you thanks Sam nice work and welcome to the news team we learned how to use the Macs in our iWorks classes here's Jacob with his instructional video First up is the Finder. The Finder is the housing space of all of your files on the Mac. It houses all of your files for all of your applications. In here you can find AirDrop, All My Files, iCloud Drive, Applications, Desktop, Documents, and Downloads. You can also do many things to a file like open, move to trash, get info, rename, duplicate, share, copy, and much more. Next up is the Launchpad. The Launchpad is essentially the hub of your entire Mac. Here you can access all of your downloaded applications. And here there's an Next up is iMovie. iMovie is a video editing software just like Final Cut Pro X, but much simpler. You can trim videos, detach audio, edit the speed, and do many things to your video. If you're doing a small project for a class, this would be a perfect program for it. Next up is GarageBand. GarageBand is an audio transposing software. Here you can create your own music using the instrument sounds provided. If you want to get more advanced, you can add your own sounds by adding audio files or recording it through a compatible instrument. You can save the file as any type of audio file, and you can use it for whatever you want. Thanks, Jacob. Nice work, and welcome to the Casco News Team. Interacts Night of the Stars Lip Sync will be held on Thursday, May 31st at 7 p.m. in the High School Auditorium. Here's Dealey with the announcement. This year's lip sync battle hosted by the Interact Club will be held on May 31st at 7 o'clock p.m. in the high school auditorium and there is a $5 suggested donation for entry. The show features performances from teachers, students, and there will be a surprise guest performer. If you're interested in signing up, please contact Mrs. Bouchain. Hope to see you there. Thanks, Delia. This is another event you don't want to miss. Here's our weatherman Trey with his forecast. It's the weatherman Trey, I got something to say. Don't hate, be great, it's time to graduate. Today, Friday, we have a high of 87. That's such great news because we haven't heard 87 in a minute. With the low at 64. It will be partly cloudy and the sun will be out too. It will be partly cloudy, but that's no worry. Tomorrow, Saturday, we have a high of 88, a low of 64, with Mr. Sun shining the whole day, maybe even at nighttime. Tomorrow, Sunday, that's when the weather drops a little. It dips down to a high of 76 and then a low of 54. I want you guys to have a great weekend. Enjoy it. Be safe. Graduation is soon. Thanks, Trey. What is the laziest part of a car? <laughs> Come on. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? No, I don't know. Okay. The wheels. Because they're always tired. <laughs> 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 Thanks for watching. Cats, Cats Can and Cats, Cats Will. <laughs>